My name is Evelyn and welcome to Balance and Glow, the online studio. Welcome to my 15 minute abs and arms class. So you just need two dumbbells or two weighted objects, so cans or filled water bottles for this workout. Seven exercises, 45 seconds of work and a 15 second rest. When we've done all seven exercises, you'll have a minute rest before we complete one final round. First exercise, you're gonna come up into high plank. You're gonna place one dumbbell just behind your wrist, coming up into that plank position, and you're just gonna take that dumbbell from side to side. Okay, so if everyone comes down towards the mat, let's come up onto our toes, engage the core in three, two, and one. Now, with this movement, you want to try and keep those hips as still as possible, okay? So imagine you've got a glass of water on your back and you don't want it to spill. If it's too much staying in that plank position, you can always come down to the squishy part of your knees and take it from side to side. You could also remove that dumbbell weight. So just by taking one hand off the ground, one at a time, just up towards the shoulder. Good. Just make sure that those shoulders are stacked directly over the wrists. That's it, good. You've got three, you've got two, and you've got one. Well done. We're gonna come now onto the back, our backs. Take one dumbbell with you. You're gonna take the dumbbell overhead and crunch it up towards your knees. So extend out and back in again. Three, two, one. You extend away, draw it back in. If it's too much with the dumbbell, you can take it away. And if you want a little bit more, you can come all the way up into boat position, try and keep those heels off the ground, and then slowly release all the way up and slowly down. Good, so option, either you stay in that hollow position, extend those arms all the way overhead, point the toes, or option to bring yourself all the way up into that lovely boat position and then slowly release. So you wanna control that way down. You're here for 10 more seconds. Good, five seconds. You've got three, you've got two, and you've got one, well done. You get to come up to standing now. Just require one dumbbell for this exercise. You're gonna start with the dumbbell over on the left. You're gonna come up onto that right toe, and we're gonna twist to the right side. So from the left to the right, three, two, one. Now I want you to imagine you've got an ax in your hand and you're trying to chop a tree down, okay? Good. That's it, so your head follows that dumbbell. Nice. Twisting through the core. Good, if it's too much with the dumbbell, you can do that same movement with your hands. So you're still gonna work that core. Nice core standing exercise. You don't always have to be on the mat to work the core. Good, rest there, well done. Come back onto your mats. You require two dumbbells for this exercise. So one in either hand. You're gonna press up and as you do, you're gonna extend one leg away, draw it back in, switch sides. Three, two, one. Now here I've got my head off the ground. If that's putting too much pressure on your neck or you're kind of straining in towards your chest, place that head on the ground. You want to make sure that that lower back is in contact with the ground. If the lower back starts to arch, bring those legs up a little bit higher. Good. Really extend those toes away from you now. You can also do this one with just one dumbbell, so hold it between both hands and press away. Good. Keep that going, looking good. You've got five seconds, well done. Three, two, one, good work. Coming back up, we're now gonna switch sides with our wood chopper. So this time I'm gonna start on my right and come back down to my left. Are we ready? Three, two, one. So when I'm on my right side, I'm up on my left toe. I then switch, I'm on my right toe. Good. Nice. So main kind of focus is working the core, obviously, but you're gonna start to feel it in the arms. So 
So those arms are coming away from your center of gravity and that's where they're gonna tire, okay? Good. 20 seconds here. Good. 10 seconds. Five. That's it, last few. Three, two, one. Well done. No dumbbells required for this one, so just place them to the side. You're gonna come up back into your plank position and we're gonna go for really slow mountain climbers. So knees towards your chest, okay? Three, two, one. Good, so just make sure those shoulders are stacked over the wrists. Draw that knee in towards your chest. Maybe hold it there for a second, pause, before you go back to the other side. Good. So this is not about going really quickly. It's about being nice and controlled, maintaining that form. Good. Keep going. You've got one more exercise to complete this circuit. Then you've got a little rest before we repeat. Good. Nice, five seconds. Three, two, one. Well done. Slowly lower yourself onto your knees, coming all the way back up to standing. Now you require two dumbbells for this one. We're gonna work that core stave stability. Gonna to come to your shoulders with the dumbbells. You're gonna bring your right leg up as you press overhead. We're then gonna take our left leg up as you press overhead. Three, two, one. So if it's too much with one, with two dumbbells, you can take one. You can do exactly the same, press, press. So you don't have to have two, depending on your weight, depending on how stable you're feeling through the center. Good. Nice. Nice and strong. Extra challenge, you bring the knee up first and then you press. Good, so you do it on the other side. You've got three, two, one, well done. So dumbbells just to the side, shake those arms out. You've got a minute before we go back down and so that first one was that plank and dumbbell move, okay? So now you know how the moves felt, you know how the weight felt. If you have options with your weights, you can always take it up a level if you're feeling strong in the first round, or if it felt too much of a challenge, you can always take those single dumbbell or take it to body weight, like I explained before, okay? So one more round of this one, just get a little bit of core and arm work. So come down to the mat, follow me. You just require that one dumbbell. So place it behind one of your wrists. Make sure in that plank position, we want to really make sure we've got a nice straight line from our shoulders to the elbow to the wrist, okay? We're coming up in five seconds, team. In three, in two, in one, let's go. Now top tip here, if you find that you're swinging from side to side like so, Take those feet a little bit wider, okay? So create that stable base. Good. Nice, keep it going. Good, you've got 20 seconds, well done. So just one more time on each of these exercises. Good. 10 seconds to go. Keep breathing as well. I know with plank, we tend to try and hold our breath. Three, two, one, well done. So coming onto your backs, just one dumbbell. So you take that dumbbell overhead, crunch it towards the knees. Option to come all the way up. Three, two, one, let's go. Nice. Slowly lower and transition between those moves. Good. If it's too much taking it all the way overhead, you can always just bring it towards that chest, like so. Or take it all the way overhead if it's feeling good. Try and keep those heels from touching the ground. That's it, nice. 
Really good one for the yoga, for our boat poses. That's it, nice. You've got five seconds. Can we get one more in? Three, two, one. Well done. So we're coming up into that wood chopper. So it's going to start on our right side. So I'm going to come up onto my left toe. I twist. And now it's at the left side. I'm on my right toe, okay? Three, two, one. So start up, chop down. That's it, good. So we see that twist through our body. We're wringing out the core. Good. So the twist is important. If we're just here stationary, I'm not getting that twist through that core, okay? So imagine you're a towel and you're wringing yourself out, okay? That's what I want you to do. Head is following. That dumbbell, you're in control of it, okay? It's not just coming down with gravity. You're pulling it down. That's it. One more. Three, two, one. Well done. Come onto the ground. So you're into that chest press now. So chest press with bicycle legs. So as you press away, we extend those legs. Nice little bicycles. Three, two, one. Good. That's it. Making sure that lower back is maintaining that contact with the ground. And again, you can do this with one dumbbell if you need to. Really point those toes. That's it. Growing as long as you possibly can. Good. 20 seconds here. Nice. Really good work. That's it. Like I said, if you need to place that head on the ground, do. Try and keep that space between your chin and your chest. That's it. Good. Five seconds here. Three, two, one. Well done. So you now have your wood chop to the opposite side. So this time it's going to start in that left corner. So on my right toe, twist down to my right side, okay? Three, two, one. That's it, good. All the way up, twist it down. I know this one, it does get those arms too, but that's why it's abs and arms. That's why we've got that combination today. Good. Excellent work. Nice, 15 seconds. Good, 10 to go. Five seconds here. Three, two, and one. Well done. Slow mountain climbers next. So dumbbells to the side. You're coming back into that plank position. We're going to build that strength over the course of the month. So coming down in three, two, one, up to those toes, draw that knee towards your chest. Good, now make, notice I'm not shrugging those shoulders up towards my ears, I'm nice and strong. So pushing the ground away through the hands, all the way up, bringing that knee in towards my chest, okay? So really just holding it there for a second, getting the full range of motion that I can possibly get. That's it, good. I'm also making sure I'm not taking myself over those wrists or behind them either, okay? So nice straight lines. Good. So not about pace. Sometimes the slower we go, the harder it is. That's it. Three, two, one. Well done. Slowly onto those knees. So one dumbbell or two for our press and knee raise. Coming down, picking those dumbbells up. So dumbbells to the shoulders, last one here. Three, two, one, lift the knee and press. Or you press as you raise the leg. So obviously the harder it is, if you take the leg off first and then you have to press good. So biceps to ears at the top. That's it, challenge yourself. Switch on that core, really nice, good. That's it, last 20 seconds of work here. Good, make sure you're staying nice and straight. As you lift that leg, you're not just dropping to the opposite side, good. 
ground through that leg. That's it, less than 10 seconds, team. Good, smile. We've got three, we've got two, and we've got one. Well done. Place those dumbbells to the side. Give those arms a big shake out. So this is the last thing you're doing today. Make sure you do a cool down, loosen everything out before you finish the rest of the day. Otherwise, thank you so much for joining me and see you very soon.